Good morning. Good afternoon. Is it afternoon? Well, it's almost evening. This is what our load looks like today. We're going to do a hard, hard climb up Hope Slide. Um, we're, we're pretty darn heavy. I'm at 60, what, 64 and a bit, 64 and a half PSI. I can go to 65. So almost the max weight load there. Um, let's see, about 69. And I can go to 72. So close to a max weight load there. And then the back's actually quite light. So I'd say we're probably 16,000 on the drives, 23,000 on the bridge, and then probably between nine, nine and 10,000 on the pup over here. These are uh, bags of concrete on the back, a bit of lumber, and then concrete block up front here. Yeah, don't look at my tires too carefully. I, I did a lot of curb rubbing in Langley where we slept last night narrow road and I just wanted to get nice and tucked in close so don't look at that I see Kit Kat and I felt like Kit Kat I am very interested thank you you're very interested thank you very interested in the Kit Kat you know what's not my I, favorite nowadays is chocolate the last chocolate we have in the fridge. You know, you probably think it's a crime when I do this. Breaking them? Breaking all of them right away. I'm fine with that. Are you? You break them the way you feel like. It's been a chaotic day. in our secret spot in Langley. We're good, pretty good. Well, yeah, literally at what? One minute? On your clock? <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> two minutes left on my clock before we ran out of hours last night. The first spot I wanted to pull in, sleep to full. There's no way of parking there. I'm like, well, let's hammer down and go for the backup. And uh, it just barely worked out. Just barely. And we got up at 7.30 in the morning, slept in a little bit. Sort of. Sort of. We were not in a crazy rush in the morning. Delivered that load in Surrey at 9 a.m. Actually, we pulled in at 8.30 and they got to us right away. So I'm wondering how early you can pull in before the appointment, before they get upset. Uh, they're cranky about your speed, so I don't think much. I are... came in nice and slow, and they said I was coming too fast. I'm like, under 20 kilometers going through your yard, so I don't know. All right, I'll do. I'll, I'll go slower next time. Hopefully, I remember. We are in Hope, that's the Hope Esso card lock there. We are on Highway, Trans Canada Highway 1, westbound. Not for long though. Beautiful spring day. It was plus 14 earlier. We're in the shade now, so it's a little bit cooler. But yeah, no, it's still plus 12. But yeah, plus 14, blue skies. It was gorgeous. I, I had my jacket on to go tar, but I'm like, nope. Take a jacket off. Let's just put a reflective vest on. I think we can get up to speed before the hill hits. Almost 
there. I, I think we can do it. Trans Canada Highway 1 exits over here. So we are now officially on Highway 3, Crow's Nest Highway. Has a crew in the logo of the number. And we're going to stay on 3, we're not going to exit onto Highway 5. He had three pickups, but they all go to one location, so... Yeah, that was... Oh yeah, I'm sorry to talk about that. Delivered the load, then went to a different spot in Surrey, picked up the front trailer, and then went to uh, Meadow Pit. Something Pit. there and picked up the lumber and then went to Abbotsford and picked up the uh, bag of concrete in the back. And because the cedar wasn't as heavy as the customer said it was going to be, I loaded the load wrong and I got the last place Abbotsford to pick up a pallet off the front, very front of the deck, and move it to almost the back of the deck. Distribute the weight a little better, or else my drives would have been overweight. And they were nice enough to do it, so we're in good shape. And the scale was closed anyway. And the scale was closed anyway, so I could have gone, but whatever. I always try to run legal all the time, then I don't have to worry about it. And it's very, very, very rare that you think about <laughs> not running legal. So the boss called and asked if I wanted to do another run tomorrow or just go home. And I said, depends on if I'm going to Ontario or not. If after my court date on Tuesday, after that, I'm going to Ontario. I would like the weekend off. If I'm not going to Ontario after the court date, I'm fine with another another run on Friday. You had an interesting load. Yeah, it was one of those Jinka mixed pieces of loads. Whoever whoever loaded that had fun trying to put that together. Kahala, we would stay in the uh, left two lanes, or the middle lane. We'd stay out of the left lane. Too heavy for that. Uh, for some of you that are paying attention, when I walked around, you are probably going, oh, that tarp doesn't look great. Yeah, it's a big scoop. It scoops a lot of air. So that's why I threw a lot of straps over top of the tarp. And as soon as, because of all those straps on top of the tarp, it really keeps the tarp down nice and snug. But because of that, those scoops of air get filled with air. And then it's almost as if it's a, they're not there. Once you fill those scoops up, the air gets aerodynamically actually just pushed back out. So it, it, the tarp does not actually balloon. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of garages and sprayers and yeah, it's a very interesting load. Prefab garages, like garden garden garages. And garden, then he has like heads. there's like fabric one, like tunnel ones too. That's interesting. Yeah. Definitely interesting load. A couple of hot shots. So it's playing a hot shot for people. 
people that don't know what it is. Oh, a hot trap is usually just a uh, pickup with a gooseneck pulling. Pulling loads on semis usually pull just lighter, smaller loads for cheaper rates because they can do it for so much cheaper in a pickup than a big rate. So there's a good, good little middle market where... And you don't need your class ones. Yeah, you don't need your class ones. Just do it with your regular license. And their, their gross weight is not below the legal weight you have to go into the scale, so as long as you stay below that weight, you bypass all the scales, all of that. I think some hot truck guys go over the gross weight and do have to go to scale and they've got the EF the stickers and, and, and all of that, but most of them I think stay below that gross weight. That requires you to go to the scale. Whatever that number is, I can't remember. Every scale has a sign saying what that number is. So they kind of pick up the stuff that doesn't fit on, you know, UPS, but the stuff that also doesn't fit on a semi truck. Little waka waka there. Hey, buddy. The other waka waka now. First a little right waka waka, and then a little left pick pick. One line you need up. Okay, little car. Okay, hey, 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 try to stay in between the lines there, bud. Yeah, the, the, the traffic made us wish we would leave the, the city. Yeah, it, it was just <laughs> terrible traffic. Basically, we were unloaded at 9 a.m. and we just barely left Vancouver and it's now almost 5 p.m. Just to pick up three quick loads. Hey, it's three quick little easy loads. Um, they fill up the whole trailer, or both trailers. They're not quick and easy. And uh, the first spot we showed up, there was like four or five trailers in front of us that had a load, and then in the second spot we showed up had four trailers in front of us. And the chipper got really angry at the guy behind us because he didn't follow the directions properly, so I had an angry chipper as well. Luckily he didn't take it out on me. Kind of worked out, but all we're doing is going to Princeton, so I mean, we don't have a long distance. So. Yeah, I was just concerned of getting to the last spot and get loaded. Yeah. And luckily, we had just enough time to get there and get loaded. So if we had to go to the Kootenays, it would be a different story than just yeah. Princeton. Yeah, we'll see what kind of load they give us tomorrow, or just go home. I'm fine with either. That'll make it hard to shoot the bonus video and the Friday video, but I'll oh. get it in. <laughs> <coughs> We've already done the sneak with the trucker. I don't remember what I did there. The Coca-Cola? To oh, yeah. So from the rest area, though. Yeah, right, right, right. From, from where we pulled in the rest area. It was snowing, holy smokes. As nice as the weather is right now, it's hard to believe a couple of days ago there was that much snow <laughs> coming down on Highway 3 and the Coca-Cola. Yes, I'll flick on our four-way flashers again. And they'll stay on until we make it all the way up to the top. 
No, we're not making it to the top in this video. It's it's a long climb. Basically, we keep climbing till Alice and Summit. It's a couple little flat sections, but for the most part, it's just up and up and up and up. And even though we're not max weight load, it feels heavy. Sometimes the load just feels heavy. Next time you can have a max weight load that doesn't feel heavy. I don't know why certain ones feel heavier than others, but this one feels heavy. what we have in the truck, so I don't know. 
units right now at 27 kilometers an hour. There's a lot of climbing to go. Once we're up Allison, we get we get some straight road till we're through Manny Park, and then we have to climb up Sunday Summit. So a lot more climbing there too. And for people asking why I want E and W, it's basically they have a washroom. Yeah. So it just makes sense to kind of time it out. We could sleep at the brake check too. It's not a great place to sleep, but. Down, find a shop. Well, I 
they took the time to put dunnage underneath the landing gear. Not everybody does, so. I rarely do. I'll put dunnage on it when I know it's a soft yard or I don't trust the yard. But if I know the yard, I, I don't use dunnage. but once in a while the paperwork clicks, you know. Same with once in a while we know the price of it, sometimes we don't. It just really depends. Yeah, the customer is likely paying close to $3,000 to have this moved from the lower mainland to Princeton. Maybe a little less, but I'm not sure, but it'll be around that part. Some nice swamp land over here. divide here. All the, all the water behind us flows down into the Fraser River. All the water in front of us, all of this, all the swamp here, all of this flows into the Skagit River. Switch watersheds. rock in the middle of the road. Maybe that was a paper bag from a fast food restaurant. Hey, 
man, what a beautiful day. You still have snow on the mountains. Well, yesterday and today both have just really felt like spring is here. It's cooling off though as we climb. It's only five degrees Celsius now. I saw, I don't know if there were daffodils or two of us, but the leaves are up. But it's not the stem and the blossom yet, the flower. They're, they're getting close. Start looking for black bears in this part of the world. Probably we'll start seeing those soon. Maybe. We had better luck in June to see them down there. Yeah, that's true. They're usually later on in the year when you see most of them. I mean, they're out and about, but we hardly ever see them. There's not enough uh, green grass on the side of the road. Once there's more green grass on the side, then you start seeing them more often because they actually graze the grass right along the side of the road. Hey, is that uh, Jamie Davis? It's a red tool truck. Yellow, I can tell you that much. It's a yellow logo. I think Jamie's are all white logos, so maybe not. Welcome to Manning Park. Big statue of a marmot. Someone didn't make this corner. I always say this corner doesn't feel right unless you go to the inside. Oh, you didn't see that yesterday? I did not see that yesterday. It, it looks like they just... Yeah. Because that outside lane ends, so I always move over for that corner. The way that corner is shaped, if you stay on the outside lane, it feels like it's going to throw you over into the ditch. I mean, it almost feels like they're going westbound. The way they're pushed out at that angle, but I could be wrong. It could be either direction to do that, that, that type of damage. Either direction. You may be correct. You may not be correct. But you may be correct also. Or not. Or you might be right. <laughs> Nothing? I, I don't have a really good quick comeback, but there's something about do you want to save your marriage or something? Ooh! Uh, Ooh! I, cuts deep right away! Wow! <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really that way. I'm really quick-witted, but, but only seven hours later. Seven hours later, I, I think of exactly what I should have said in that situation. But it's like, oh, I should have said that. That would have been really, that would have been the like best comeback. No offense to you, but isn't that typical for males? Hey now. No, 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 I mean it. Like you always read about it online and be like, oh man, a couple of days later, this girl, I realized she was into me. She was asking me out. Oh. You know, like, and then you realize like in high school, somebody was doing this and liked you and like, Nobody liked me in high school, I can tell okay, you that. Okay, I wasn't... Hmm, I wasn't picking on you. I was just simply saying that I, I read often that... You know... It seems like men, you know... Are little mates when they think about what something meant or... I'm really going to regret the comment section, aren't I? Yeah. Because they're all going to be on my side and against you. I mean, I like other girls in high school, but I don't think I ever got a hint of anyone liking me back. Not even a slightest bit. What? I'm going to wait until tonight. We're going to be laying down for bed and you're going to be like, wait, wait, wait a moment. No. No, uh, but yeah, yeah. Now, when it comes to work, you, 
Like, yeah, there's definitely... There, there was interest. I was not. Like, I know one of those people who talked about it before, but, yeah. But there's men that are exactly the opposite. Anytime a girl says something nice to them, they think the girl's hitting on them. Yep. Like, the girl just said something nice to you. They're just being a human being. So... Me, girls said nice things to me all the time, but I never thought that that was wanting more. This is called the Rhododendron Flats because of those flowers? Something like that, yeah. You usually see a sign that says it. When I was reading, they're probably not going to bloom this year because of the cold snap. The really cold snap destroyed all the buds or all the blooms or whatever they're called. Yeah, I think that's what I read. Well, there might be some, but nothing like we usually see. Pull out to 
sleep and in the morning there was like four feet of snow around me. No, I wasn't with you. Uh, Yeah, that was a sketchy day. I was at home when I knew the road would close because of the news and then you're on a spot, so I knew where you were. But we always go prepared for yeah. the road, so. Like the food that's left in the truck at the end of the week, but we have food that we can go a few days and water. And yeah. I think with a two week run, we're gonna have to find a place to have extra food and water in here. Yeah, is find it places to top off that food and water. It's uncomplicated, but uh, we're not gonna have the meat. You guys live in Washington and know how big Skagit River is, Skagit Valley. Yeah, Skagit River is pretty small up here. Almost just a small creek. Cross to the end. I guess it's a river. It's more than just a little creek. Alright guys, I'm going to call it a 
today here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate all your support. Thanks for hitting that join button. Thanks for watching the ads. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up. All the comments. Love all the new comments. We've been getting so many new comments from new people. I absolutely love reading all those comments. Whenever, like today, we had downtime where I'm sitting there for an hour waiting to load, I'm reading your comments, going through them. And I also read them. So yeah, ask, ask me or Jess something. We'll, we'll get back to you. And if, if, if you're a jack wagon in the comments, your comments will just disappear, that's all. Our group of commenters are such a good group of people, so it's kind of nice to have a, a community that actually actually cares. And we, we don't have much for troublemakers. No, and you said you know you're doing something right when you get troublemakers because yeah, your well, channel's growing. Your so. channel's growing, you start getting some troublemakers, but clean those up pretty quick. We have an amazing community though. Yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing community. Thank you for all those comments. And for those of you watching on the TV and can comment, thank you as well. For now, we are out of here. You guys rock! Adios. Thank <laughs> you.